Okay, a lot of times you see me, uh, I'll discuss the uh, model B612 uh, FM transmitter here built by DeWall. This is it right here. I use it a lot for um, broadcasting the Cirrus, I can receive Cirrus satellite radio, the FM part of Cirrus satellite, on this unit here and then rebroadcast it on the AM so I can actually have at least some reasonable radio music that goes with the radio itself. I've had this for a while and it's a pretty cool little device. I actually have radio that matches it. And this is a, a pretty cool radio. Neither one of these have ever been restored or anything really done to them. But uh, this is the FM transmitter. You can actually see it says wireless FM tuner right there. And you put it next to a radio and you can get FM radio th through it. This radio doesn't work very good so it uh, it's, it's kind of a little bit uh, got a little bit of a hum to it but uh, one of the other things I've got with it is the actual instruction sheet here on how to how to operate it and of course the Sam's photo fact here for the unit as well so those are always handy to have here's the schematic on the back on the on the design of it and these things are pretty popular you can find them actually on eBay from time to time we also made both of these, um, they made a cat lid versions of them, so if you find those, they're worth a heck of a lot of money. Actually, this is the same radio that's in the uh, in a cat lid to Wald, and I've seen this in cat lid as well. Now, one of the other approaches that you can do this, this is wireless, so you don't have to actually connect anything, and it works great for this, some of the old Atwater Kents that I have, or any other radio that doesn't have an actual phono input. What I also have is over here, is a Howard FM brought, uh, tuner and this tuner actually plugs into the phono input of a radio so if the radio is equipped like this Howard radio here with the phono input you simply dial the phono turn up your volume and now you've got music tune in the uh, thing let's cut it off over here And you can see by the choice of music stations here in, in my area, it's not very appropriate for a 1940s style radio. These radios don't have what's called AFC automatic frequency control, so they'll drift back and forth and they'll lose, they're all, you constantly have to be tuning them back in. That's our uh, our frequency for the uh, two broadcaster on the uh, on the uh, Cirrus satellite radio. If you look right here, this is my Cirrus satellite radio, and it's broadcasting to that. And this one has pretty good sound because it's actually connected directly to the radio. But you can actually switch this over to AM. And I can get the same station. There it is right there. And there it is on the tuner. So the DeWald tuner supplies the AM. And then the Howard tuner displays the AM, displays it, or displays, transmits it to it via the phono jack. Actually. It actually sounds better this time around. And then I got the volume turned down on the Howard. So right now it's coming from the DeWald wireless FM tuner. And when I put it on phono, it comes through on the Howard FM tuner to the Howard radio. And this old Howard radio has pretty good sound too. It's not a bad looking old radio. I mostly wanted to feature the uh, tuner because it's I talk about it a lot in a lot of the uh, the uh, videos I do for radios, and this is what I broadcast it to.